Boy, she makes a huge birdie putt here at the last hole in the 72nd hole of a major at the age of 20. Just that little bit of difference. Yeah. Very good throughout her amateur career at putting the ball in the correct place on the green. It's fine. It's second. Let's see this birdie putt for Rosang. Look out. Rosang is two for two today, trying to go two for two as a pro. Feels very controlled, but relaxed. Okay, that one drops. She's still in this. Had a couple of birdies to start that they missed by just a fraction at three. The same at four is Zhang's second. And that's Ooh. where she was leaning. She wanted it to come back down that hill, huh? Yeah, almost. She looked concerned. She shouldn't be. She's made another birdie. Rose Zhang, four under through eight. A very friendly looking hole location. These players, there's a nice slope to the behind the hole that catches it. All over it again. So Zhang looking for the bounce back. That same slope at the hole breaking to the right. And there is the bounce back by Zhang to get back within a shot. Absolutely beautiful stroke. You could see how that ball rolled. He threw without interruption till the end. Now Rose second. It's a seven iron. Plays uphill. That minimum number she needs to carry is at least 141. And she's hit another good iron shot. Better than good. It's going to give her a chance for birdie and to tie the lead here. And a good save up and down from that back rough. Just another example of what Roseanne can do in the heat of these championship moments. Ayaka food away for another birdie. This would be her fifth of the day. Mm -hmm. She has been so close the last month and a half. Been in contention five straight weeks now on a Sunday. And the top of this leaderboard. What are you saying? She's got a chance. Ah. Good away for Birdie. He's saying there is a chance for these players. A lot can happen in those final two yeah. holes. So the 13th. Food away. Tucked it in there nicely with her second shot below the hole. And a good look at Birdie. Yes, she's at six under par. This could be a big day for Japanese golf. Huge amount of attention. Attack some of these hole locations as receptive as these greens have become. It's hmm. one way to do it. If it stays there. It's the difference in these putts from Shi Yu Lin mm. and Ro Zhang at the first. That's Zhang's mark, just uh, the left, and about halfway from Lin's. We'll pick up speed here. Just okay. enough, just enough. Well, that one can be made, we know. What a start for Shi Yu, who, as we said, didn't play well yesterday, not her best, but she did finish birdie, birdie. Long putt here for Shi Yu Lin at the third. And it's just kind of, I wouldn't say it's a ball, but right there it goes downhill to the hole, and that'll help. That was speedy down there. She didn't want to miss the, miss the hole, but she'll take the birdie. Good starts for Shi Yu Lin and Rose Zhang. They're at four. This is Lin. Looks like she may have been trying to play a fade into this hole location. Oh, oh. Faded it in. 
Look out for Shi Yu Lin. This one should move right to left here, Paige. It should, it should. We'll see relative to Rose's whether she gets the read down. Tracking, tracking. There it is. Oh, yeah. Shi Yu Lin with three birdies in the first five holes on Sunday. been too much yeah that's fine gives her a look at birdie to 12 and Anna Nordquist made the cut on the number now to get within two of the lead and the three-time major champion How about the par three fourth it's Carlota Saganda moved up the tee again today it's been playing back and forth whole location in the front Careful for some of those players that create a little extra spin, Carlota being one of them. This is an equal part for Carlota Saganda. This flag doesn't bode well for the way she hits the ball, but that part works. This flag works well for the players that move the ball right to left. Carlota moves it left to right. Now Saganda for a birdie at nine. Across the green here. And is that going to drop? Oh, wow. Look out. This is some front nine from Carlotta Seganda. She's gone out in 30, gets it to four under par. She's feeling it. Oof. Yes. Another for Seganda. A little backstop behind the hole today. The first time they've cut the flag on the lower level this week. And Saganda right hmm. there. Yep, that's going to be just fine. It'll give her a good look at Birdie, and she'll have a chance to get it to six under par and within one of the lead. Yuka Sasso's third here, Paige. Very comfortable bunker shot. She can have it release all the way to the hole if she chooses to play it. Oh, what a shot by Yuka Sasso. Oh, that is left for Birdie to post seven under and put herself in position for her second major title. And now Yuka Sasso in a putt and an up and down that could win the championship, we'll see, but seven under. Ronin Yin back behind her at 18, drove it in that thick rough, and so it gave Yuka an opportunity. 66, final round close. She's only birdied this hole once. Trying to get this three with somewhere in the front of the green. Playing back into a little bit of breeze right now. This hole has, is playing currently a half a, over a half a shot under par today. Over to the par four eighth and Ronin Yen. This was just a moment ago. You see she's two back there tied for fifth. Eight players separated by two shots. At the <laughs> you want an exciting finish? <laughs> You're gonna get one. So has to make sure she doesn't fight the slope. Going to take this beyond and try to suck it back. It should come back now. And she's given herself a chance to be the first player to eight under par. <laughs> Biggest shot of a young career. Sets up right below for a great possible... 34. And eight under has the lead in this championship. Is that the winning putt? It just might be.